Is super intelligence destined to be our friend or foe? One thing seems certain, the first computer that can really outsmart us will have a transformative effect on humankind. The development of full artificial intelligence and then super intelligence will be one of the most important things that has ever happened in human history. I mean, arguably more important than anything in human history and perhaps comparable to the rise of Homo sapiens in the first place. Nick Bostrom is a researcher at the University of Oxford. He's exploring the impact a super intelligent machine could have on life as we know it. From an evolutionary perspective, intelligence is key. It helped humans to the top of the food chain, enabling them to build up powerful civilizations. What capabilities would a super intelligent computer have? After all, the edge humans had over other species has enabled us to rule the world. Now, the fate of the gorillas uh, depend a lot more on what we humans do than on what the gorillas do themselves. So the thought is that for basically the same reasons, if we one day create machines that surpass human intelligence, then they might be in a very powerful position to shape the future according to their preferences. And if that were to pass, it would then be of paramount importance that the goals of these super intelligences would be aligned with human goals, that they would be an extension of the human will, that they would be fundamentally on our side. A super intelligent computer would be able to expand its own intelligence, enhancing its ability to analyze, reason, develop, and plan. It could even outdo us in terms of creativity. Because if you think about it, once you have machines that can do everything that we can do and can do it better and faster, that's really the last invention humans will ever need to make. Because inventing is itself one of these activities that then will be done better by AI. But a super intelligence could develop and pursue its own selfish goals. That could lead to a human style superiority complex. Machines could treat us with the same disregard we humans show a colony of ants when we're, say, paving over a parking lot. Similarly, if you have a super intelligent optimization process that is optim trying to optimize the world for some objective that doesn't include human values and the things we care about, then we might kind of be analogously paved over or just uh, destroyed as a side effect and for instrumental reasons uh, rather than because of any animosity. So what can we do? Impose rules on the machine such as do not harm any human being? It could easily see through that. What about disabling it with a virus? Chances are we wouldn't be smart enough and pulling the plug doesn't seem to be much of an option either. So you have um, a system that can learn, a system that is capable uh, of strategic uh, thinking and planning that is maybe able to anticipate uh, your reactions. Uh, a system which, for example, if it thought its goals would be better served by it not being switched off, could plan ahead and figure out a set of behavioral outputs that would reduce the risk that humans would choose to reach for the off switch. Uh, you have a system that potentially is capable of deception, like humans even are, and if you have a super intelligent deceiver, that presumably could go much farther. How could we stop a super intelligent computer from attacking the internet, financial institutions, the military, industry, enslaving humankind, and generally wreaking havoc? It seems that the machine itself would have to come up with the idea of goodwill towards humans. It looks like the most promising paths involve leveraging the AI's own intelligence, its learning ability. Uh, to do some of this cognitive work for us. Maybe you could have an AI that, uh, that learns what it is that human values, um, that looks at human behavior, maybe asks us questions, and then can infer what our preferences are from that. Programming a super intelligent computer to live by basic human value sounds pretty risky. For Nick Bostrom, though, it's a risk worth taking.